This is video 99 of 101. This video is about making the change. Alright, so you're here, we've made it to almost the end, and you're really excited to make the change, okay? So just a couple things to keep in mind as you're going up along this path, and maybe if you're not convinced totally yet, this will be a great video for you. The number one step in making this change, and if you haven't already decided to do that, it's to pop your bubble. You know, my parents tried to pop my bubble as I was growing up, but I never allowed them and it made me really resent them for that. And the only way to pop your bubble is to do it yourself. Hopefully one of these videos has helped to pop your bubble, hopefully something out there in the media has helped to pop your bubble, but just hopefully there is something that has made you click and realize that holy shit, that this life that we're living can only be lived if we coexist with nature and that's not gonna happen with factory farming. And we really just need to think about factory farming and you know, I'm gonna be putting out a lot of other creative videos that are hopefully gonna help to pop your bubble a little bit more as well. But they're just inspirational things. Obviously the only person who can pop your bubble is you. Once you have popped this, and by that I just mean that you finally made this connection that you know, like what's on your plate actually is coming from a pretty disgusting place in terms of factory farming and eating and consuming animal products. But then the next step from there is seeking other people. Once you're like, okay, all right, shit, I want to make a change. I want to do something with my life. All right, now it's time to seek out other people who are on the same path as you or just even seeking out resources and information, okay? So I'm going to be putting out other videos that are, are going to be really great like starter guides and just are going to be a great way for you to get some resources to start out. I also want to be putting up a way for us to communicate with each other as well. If you check out my website, uh, shemadeherline.com, there's a forum on that page there where we can uh, talk to each other and we can really just communicate. Even in the comments down below, just be like, hey, I'm new to this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like, please help help. Honestly, I am I am here for you. I really want to help anybody who is making this change be on that right path. If you want to just brainstorm and just think about ideas or things that you want to be passionate about, I'm totally here for that as well. So seeking out other people, seeking out resources, just collecting as much information as education as you possibly can so that you're equipped to go through this change. Because yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of things you need to know. I'm definitely gonna try to make some kind of digestible information bits for you guys here. Obviously the last, you know, ninety eight videos was a lot of information as well. But you know, hopefully if you're just watching them like day by day, uh they're not so scary. First thing to start with I think is just drinking more water and then secondly just trying to incorporate more raw foods into your diet. Uh, there's tons 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 of recipe blogs and videos and youtubers out there and they're absolutely amazing that's why I never really did any kind of like recipe tutorials because I think that there's already so much out there and honestly the food that I eat is like really basic and probably I don't know I think it's just really simple so there's not really a whole lot of video to make about that but anyways making the change, you're just gonna find things that you like, like go to the grocery store and just pick up a couple vegetables that you've never had before and make them, bring them home and try to get creative with them. But I think the number one thing to keep in mind as you're going about this change is that you're not gonna just change overnight, you're not gonna wake up tomorrow and be totally different. You are going to be doing this every single day. This is now a change that, because if you just try to do it overnight, it's just gonna be a weird adjustment and you're probably gonna end up resenting the change and going back. So the best thing is just to know in your mind that you're on your right path and then just make little changes every single day because a day is kind of a short time period, you know, and you've got a lot of other things going on in your life already. So every day, just try to do one extra little thing. Just try to make that healthy choice as much as you possibly can. Every single second from this second on, every choice that you make from now on, every interaction that you have, try to make it a positive one. Try to make it a sustainable one and try to make it one that is for the future and for yourself as well. Making this change, it's going to be a little bit scary in the beginning. I don't doubt that at all, but don't let that stop you. Let that fear motivate you. Just be like, hey, this might be a little bit scary, but you know what? If I do it, that means that I was strong enough to do it and I did it. And that is something that you can be proud of. And then you can look back in a year and be like, whoa, I was really scared to start, but then look at where I am now. Because honestly, as long as you start to just get rid of the negative things in your life, the negative people, the negative foods, the negative things in your life, and you really start to realize your passion, trust me, you will never, ever, ever look back. And it will be the most incredible journey, the most incredible thing you can ever do for yourself. I promise you that. And if you are stuck on your path and you don't know where you're going, reach out to somebody, me, somebody you trust. The thing is that you're never gonna be doing this alone. So if you ever feel stuck, if you ever feel weak or confused or alone, you're not reach out, try to find somebody who you can relate to. And if there's absolutely nobody out there, honestly, like reach out to me. I'm happy, so happy to help anybody on their path just get a little bit further. Like 
honestly, reach out anywhere. Comments down below, website, anything. Like, I am here to help. That is my, my passion in life is to help other people realize their passions, to help other people on this change in their life. So, yeah, if you're going through this change, reach out. Honestly, like, I love it. I love we can be friends and making friends doing these things that you love just start with the little things you know like okay I want to learn this thing maybe there's a cool class I can take in my local community center you go there who knows who you could meet there maybe you want to start a new job and then you get there who knows who you could meet there maybe there's a new activity that you want to try who knows who you could meet there these are the people that are going to start to become really important in your life and that you're going to be able to start to really love too so I think that uh, you're going to be really pleased with where you are as long as you just start to take action. You start to get rid of the negative, you start to really hone in on that positive person who's inside of you that has been put down by all these no's and excuses and reasons and buts and ands and negative people and the media and the corporations and all those messages out there. Just get rid of all of that out there and let this good person who really wants to be a good person and who really wants to just live a good life, whether that's a crazy big dream or just like a simple life where you're just surrounded by people that you love whatever life that you want to live just think about it just visualize it and know that if your head is already there then all you need to do is just let your body catch up and your body will get there as long as you just keep going your body is here your mind your visualizing is here that means that there's a path in between here and that path is never going to be defined you're never going to be able to read in the book how that path is being done but you're going to be able to figure it out because as long as you start to remove these negative things, you're going to start to kind of feel your way. You're going to feel yourself getting pulled in these certain directions and things are going to knock you off back and forth, back and forth for sure. But having that pull, having that really true pull in your life, that is what's going to allow you to just keep going to this final and then your body will catch up and it will catch up to where your mind is pulling you. And once you get there, I mean, you'll never get there you'll never like be done and that's the exciting part is that it's always a journey you know we hate the word journey but we love stories and a journey is just living that story and that story being your life so just look at your life as like a story just I like to recite back like what I've been doing because really when you look back and you're like oh look I did this and this and this wow that's actually a pretty cool story looking back at it like that is uh, is really fun to do as well and helps to just give you some perspective making the change first step start at video one and then get here and hopefully that'll help you in making your change hopefully you've learned something in this educational series I'm so happy that you guys have been watching these videos and I'm just so thankful that you have been here um, thank you so much for all of your support and if you ever need anything just please reach out I am here to help that is what I want to do in my life is to help people because we're all in this together we are all standing on that same ground and if I can help people become a little bit more grounded then I've done my job